Good day, YouTube. My name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now, you may have watched my previous video when I was uh, testing out my rotator, the uh, Yaesu 2800 rotator. I have it right here. And uh, at one point, I noticed that the high speed wasn't working in one direction and it was working in the opposite direction. I'm gonna show you what to do to troubleshoot to ensure that you have the correct voltage. I talked with Roger, he's the uh, technical support of Yesu. I called him on the phone and, and he's in, uh, located in California. And I also saw him at the uh, Hamvention in Dayton, Ohio. If you haven't seen that video, I got the video above. And in that video, he showed me which pins to measure for 24 volts. So in this video, I'm going to show you those pins and troubleshoot why this rotator is not traveling in the fast speed. So this is strange. It's working in the high speed. Anyways, I'm going to still show you the voltage, what it's supposed to read when uh, you're having issues with high speed rotations. Let me demonstrate. Okay, this is... The speed controller, we're going to go into the low setting. This is low. And over here, we have my rotator with a Porsche car, a toy car on top of it, so you can actually see it rotating easily. So we're going to go low speed and go to the right. We will increase it to high speed. It's working, right? Yes, it's working. All right, so we're gonna go back to low speed and we're gonna rotate it to the left. Now we're gonna increase the speed. It seems to be working to me. Rotate it right. And back to left. We're looking at the back of the controller and how these pins are laid out. You have pins one, two, three and down at the bottom from left to right it's four five six we need to put a multimeter between pins four and five what we're testing for is 24 volts this has to be connected and power on and you also need to have the load that means the uh, rotator is connected as well Okay, that's nice and seated. I'm gonna move this on top because I'm gonna put two probes down at the bottom on pins four and pins five. It doesn't matter the polarities. So I'm just going to put uh, the red with the red and then the black attached to the green. Now that I have the probes connected to pins four and five and the meter is on, I'm going to turn the controller around so we can see the buttons I'm pushing. The controller is in the low speed setting and we're going to turn it to the left. The voltage is indicating 10.34 I'm going to go to high speed High speed is 23.2, 23.23. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna start off slow on the low speed, low 
and let's rotate to the right and look at the voltage 10.32 and we're going to go to the high speed twenty three point two seven and rotate left on high speed Sweet, my controller is working along with my Yesu rotator. So that saved me money for shipping and possibly any cost for repairs. Uh, so I'm very grateful that it happened to fix itself and I didn't have to uh, ship it in for repairs. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel and you wanna to continue to watch my episodes of my vlogs, of my videos that I create, um, this rotator is gonna be uh, attached to my tower and if you haven't seen that tower videos um, I'll leave the link above so you can take a look at that and see parts one part two part three and part four of my process of setting up my tower here at my QTH my name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR so 73s until next video have a great day